Mr. Death, the steel industries and the impact on all of the nations of the UK, because it was in 1992 that his Conservative government closed Ravenscraig in yeah. Scotland, yeah. decimating 1,200 jobs and livelihoods. And it was the SNP government in Scotland who brought those steelworks in Clybridge and DL and that aluminium smelter in Loch Aber back to uh, nationality and where he was brought up. British. Has he, has he raised specifically the matter of Scottish steel and aluminium and into production? We are fed up in Scotland of cleaning up his government's mess and we do not want to be in the position that we have to do that again. And we know, Mr Deputy Speaker, from recent decimating 1,200 jobs and livelihoods and it was the SNP government in Scotland who brought those steelworks in Clybridge and DL and that aluminium smelter in Loch Aber back into production. We are fed up in Scotland of cleaning up his government's mess and we do not want to be in the position that we have to do that again. And we know, Mr Deputy Speaker, from recent reports in the press that the geographical indicators of products such as Scotch whisky could be under threat in a US-UK trade deal. The Secretary of State may have seen the article in The Scotsman last week that suggested Scotch whisky is among the products that could carry a Made in America tag after Brexit. It further said that US lobbyists are calling on the UK to drop geographical name protections after Brexit to allow supermarkets to import American copies. Mr Deputy Speaker, that would be outrageous. So will he commit to protecting our valuable steel and aluminium industries, uh, not trading off uh, our our vital GIs for Scotch whisky in any trade deals? And will he reconsider, given that a Tory Brexit would reduce UK GDP by 8% and put at risk some of our key exports. Will the Secretary finally reconsider his approach to Brexit and admit that he was wrong in suggesting that leaving the EU single market and customs union could somehow be overcome by magical trade deals with the the US and the the EU that was, in his words, going to be the easiest in human history? Well, Mr Speaker, it's not long since I remember the SNP being delighted at some of Mr Trump's tweets uh, when he was uh, uh, having uh, some of his relationships with the uh, previous SNP leader. Uh, In terms of uh, the way in which we tackle this, we best tackle this as a UK, a united United Kingdom, in line with our European Union partners. And and the Honourable Lady dares to raise the issue of, of, of GI. These are actually in the rollover of the EU uh, trade agreements that we are trying to get continuity for in our current trade and customs bill. And when it comes to talking about it, then the Honourable Lady needs to understand that she actually voted against the rollover of those bills, which would have given the very protections she's asking us for. Yeah. Julie Dockrell.